Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's DIY, I'll be turning this pumpkin into something really glam and beautiful. I found this one at Dollar Tree, but it was in the Dollar Tree Plus section. It looks like it's velour, and it kind of looks black and blue, but I think it's blue, so the way I decorate it will go with black or blue. Alright, so let's get started. Now, I've already done a black pumpkin on my second channel, and if you'd like to see that DIY, I'll link it right here. Okay, just like that one, the stem is loose, so I'm just going to pull this up and add a little bit of glue. I'm going to accent this pumpkin with silver, so naturally I want to make my stem silver as well. Normally I would go ahead and paint it, but just to save on time, I'm just going to go ahead and put silver leaf on top and then go from there. Here I have some silver leaf glue and I'm just going to put a little bit right inside this cup. Now I'll take a paintbrush, dip it in the glue, and put it right on the stem. And whenever you're working with silver leaf, you only want to put the glue where you want the silver leaf to adhere. Now I'll let the glue sit for 30 minutes before I add the silver leaf. But meanwhile, we'll go ahead and start decorating the pumpkin. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is drape some of this crystal garland around my pumpkin. I'm just going to take this piece, put a little bit of hot glue on there, and then glue it down. I guess maybe about here. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to go all the way around and then come back. And here's what it looks like after I added the garland. Next up, I have some chandelier pendants. And what I'm going to do is just keep one, two, three, four on the chain. And what I want to do is glue this down right in the center just like that. So I'm going to put some glue on all the beads. Just like so. Alright, so I'm going to continue to go all the way around and keep adding these as I go. Once I'm done, I'll come back and move on to the next step. I'm done adding the chandelier pendants. So now I'll go ahead and put the silver leaf on my stem. Okay, I'm done adding the silver leaf to the stem. And what I've noticed is this is moving a little bit too much for me. So what I'm going to do is just add some more glue to this garland to hold it down. Next up I have this floral piece that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Originally it was gold and glittery. So what I did was spray painted the silver and then added some glitter to it. And I went ahead and cut a piece off. So I want to add a piece right on top. Yeah, I think that's a good height. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just stick it right inside. I'm going to hot glue it down. I also have this feather pin that I picked up from Dollar Tree as well. And I kind of think I want to add it as well. Here's the skew. So I think I need to cut this. So now I have this. Okay, so now I have some pieces from totallydazzle.com. And I'm going to just add them to this to give it a little bit more interest. I have some pendants. I have these two small pieces. So to finish it off, I'm going to glue some of these pieces on here to make it extra blingy and pretty. So I'm going to put it right here. 
and then add just a little bit of hot glue on the back. And this one is more like a little button. I'm not going to decorate the back, I'm just going to decorate the front. Okay, to finish the pumpkin off, I'm going to glue it to this Dollar Tree candle holder. Here I have some adhesive bling that I'm going to put right around the neck. Here's what it looks like with the bling around it. Next, I want to glue it on here, but because it's material here, and it's not tight, it won't stay. So I'm just going to use this glass from a magnifying glass and glue it on top of here. And now I'm just going to glue the pumpkin to the top. And just like that I'm done. So what I'll do now is go ahead and put it on this plate. Come back and let you see what it looks like. Okay, back to this piece. I know I said I was done, but off camera I went ahead and added some rhinestones. I think it needed just a little bit more bling to it. So yeah, again, I'll put it on display and let you guys see what it looks like. In this DIY, I'll be decorating this Dollar Tree charger. This is not the normal one that they carry, as you can see. This one has more of a decorative edge, and I thought that was really pretty. So when I found these, it was either earlier this year or late last year. I knew I had to have them, so yeah. Here's the skew. So of course I'm going to blend this out and make it really decorative. This will be perfect to use in the upcoming holiday season. Now if you can't find this particular charger, you can use any charger. You can use the ones that Dollar Tree normally carries. You can even check out Michaels. I always see charger sets at Goodwill, so check them out as well. Let's get started. So my podge, I have this large container that I picked up at Walmart, but Dollar Tree sells the small ones as well. I have the small bathroom cup. Next up, I have some fine glitter that I picked up at Walmart. And this was less than $3 and you get a nice amount. So now I'm gonna take a wide brush, carefully brush it on to the edge of my charger. Now I'm not going to put any glue around the edge, I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Now I'll sprinkle on some fine glitter. Now just pat it off. Now you see why I have the paper down to catch the excess glitter. So now I add more Mod Podge and more glitter. Just like that, check out the excess glitter. So I'm going to let the glitter and Mod Podge completely dry, come back and move on to the next step. Okay, the Mod Podge and glitter has completely dried, but it's not set. Before I move on to the next step, I need to set it. So I'm going to use some of this Dollar Tree hairspray. Um, I guess this is just regular hold. Normally I like to get extra hold, but yeah, this will definitely work. Now I'm just gonna spray where I put the glitter. Naturally I'm gonna have some overspray here. I'll clean that up later. Now I'll allow the hairspray to dry. Come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back for round two. This time around, I'm going in with some more glitter, but this is a little bit bigger. I'm going to take my Mod Podge and brush it on just like before. Okay, so now I'll come in with my larger flakes. And it doesn't have to cover the Mod Podge completely. I'm not going to shake any of the glitter. I'm just going to allow it to dry like the first layer. This layer of glitter in Mod Podge is completely dry. So this time around, I broke out the heavy duty hairspray. And this has got to be glued. And it says 
Blasting Freeze Spray. I want this to really stay in place. All right, so here goes. So now I'll let this completely dry and come back for the final layer of glitter. Now I'll allow this layer of glitter and Mod Podge to dry, then come back and spray it with the hairspray. Okay, so this is how it looks. I already shook off some of the extra glitter, and I'll clean the inside after I'm done setting this layer. So again, I'm going to take my Got To Be and freeze this glitter in place. Again, I'll let this dry, then I'll come back and then finish adding decorations to it. Here's what it looks like after all the glitter has dried. It looks really decorative and festive. Perfect for the holiday season. Here I have some gems that I picked up online. You can use whatever gems you like. If you like these, I'll link them below. So what I'm going to do is glue these down right underneath those big arches. Just like so. All the way around. And I'm only using hot glue. And you want to hold it down until the glue dries. Go all the way around doing the same thing. Okay, and here's what it looks like. Put the rhinestones in place. Isn't that pretty? I'm not done. I want to go ahead and accent with some smaller rhinestones all the way around. I'm going to recharge my battery, come back and finish the charger. Off camera, I added some gems right beside each large gem. These are the ones that I used. So all I did was put a little bit of hot glue on each side. And just like that, we're done. So now I clean up all the glue webs, put it on display, and let you guys see what it looks like. As promised, here's my beautiful glam pumpkin. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. The garland can be purchased from Amazon.com. I already had it on hand. Again, the brooches are from TotallyDazzle.com. But you can use any brooches or gems that you have on hand. And you can also find some nice brooches at Goodwill. Finally, here's my completed charger. And I think it's absolutely stunning. The three mixes of glitter, along with the gems, was the perfect match. And like I said earlier in the video, this charger will be perfect for this upcoming holiday season. So far, I've only made two of these chargers, but I will make a set of four, and when I do, I will use them in an upcoming Tablescape video. So please stay tuned. Okay everyone, this completes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.